Who is the best off-season pickup outside my favorite, Peyton Manning? Dreesen. Are you serious? You know where the softest place in anybody's defense is? Softest part of any defense is, of course, the pinky toe. Yeah, I'd show you mine, but nobody wants to see that. Deep between the hash marks. That's where they're going. That's where he lives. The Bronco Planet prize monkey. You know, my gut says Tracy Porter, but I'm obligated uh, by the show to say uh, the prize monkey. Yeah, go figure on that one. Ooh, look at me, I'm the prize monkey. Jacob Tammy. Or no, actually, Joel Dreesen. Oh, it's got to be Del Rio. No doubt about it. The offense is set now with Manny. Del Rio now on the defense. Feel good. Hey, guys. What do you think about DJ Williams? Should he stay or should he go? <coughs> Idiot. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Time for him to go. He's not costing the Broncos any money. I mean, I'm on, I've been bashing DJ for a while, but it's no money. So I say you hang on to him for 10 weeks, let him get through all his suspensions, and if the Broncos need him, then you play him, all right? If not, I mean, I think long-term, DJ's gone, which is a shame. A lot of talent with that guy. DJ, well, here's a good analogy. You see this Rice Krispie Treat right here, guys? This Rice Krispie Treat has more character than DJ Williams. Oh. Probably has a longer shelf life, too. But all, uh, all kidding aside, this is delicious. DJ Williams, in my opinion, has been given opportunities. Uh, probably too many at this point, And I think it's time to let him go. Get rid of him. He doesn't, he doesn't need to be there. So my question is, over the next few weeks, when we're cutting all the Broncos, who would be the surprise cut? Biggest surprise cut to me would be Caleb Haney. Now, before you go just going crazy on me, hear me out. They cut Caleb Haney, and the Denver organization, for the first time in a long time, does not have a veteran backup. You're talking about a second-year guy in Weber and a rookie in Osweiler. Granted, both have been playing pretty well, but that would be a pretty big step for an organization to go forward without a veteran backup. So, Caleb Haney, if... Uh, if uh, Osweiler and, uh, and Weber, you know, continue to uh, do well, then, you know. I would be surprised uh, uh, if they had some of the offensive linemen, you know, uh, Cooper maybe that's, that's worked so hard to get back. Um, I'd, I'd be real shocked if one of those guys were let go. Outside of Manning? <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any answer to that. I don't know. No, Sean Marino hasn't been showing up. Plus, he's been injured. Uh, he may be cheap enough, cheap enough to keep. Well, I'd like to say no, Sean Marino, but that's really no shocker. I mean, this guy is struggling big time. So I would say who would surprise me, Matt Willis. He really contributes on the special teams, but I don't know, man. He's been, he's been mediocre for too long. I'd love to see him get rid of Sean Moreno. The guy's fragile. He'll have a couple big runs in a preseason game, and then two games into the regular season, the knee goes. Just be done with him. Move on. Who do you think is going to be this year's sleeper? Hillman. Jacob Tammy. Love him. Kids at home, draft him early in your fantasy drafts. Tracy Porter. My early favorite would be Decker. I, I just think Decker's the guy that, that uh, has has been the guy that has been working with Manning the most in the offseason. And I just think he's a go-to guy. You know, for me, the biggest sleeper this year, I think, has got to be Joe Mays. Brian Dawkins, retired DJ. He's got his uh, his issues that he's working with. And uh, I think somebody's really somebody really needs to step up into that leadership role on the defensive uh, side of the football. Now, champ is champ, but he's not, he's not the outspoken vocal guy. Uh, that a Brian Dawkins was. So uh, I, I think this might be uh, Joe Mays' biggest year. Sleeper, that's got to be Raheem Moore because he pretty much slept through all of last season. But actually, he's doing really good so far in camp. So he's my sleeper this year. Hey, fellas, what's your thoughts on Jack Del Rio? Greatest hair of any defensive coordinator in the league. Even that's my hair. Woo! Okay, that's enough. Probably the, the best addition in the, uh, in the, in the coaching ranks. Del Rio himself came out and said, expect the Denver Bronco defense to be a top five defense. Coming from a guy like him, I'm the kind of guy that uh, is inclined to believe him. The adults are back in charge at Dove Valley. Jack Del Rio is a football guy. I mean, he, he knows offense, he knows defense. I just think he's a great football mind. 
Love Jack Del Rio. I mean, instant credibility with that defense, man. Former All-Pro linebacker, big, bad. So glad to have Del Rio. What a pickup. Now that Tebow is not a Bronco, what do you think about him? Great guy. Can't play quarterback. Timmy Tebow. You know, um, I like Tim Tebow. It's, it's a horrible loss to lose somebody of his character. Probably the best pump protector in the NFL. Timmy Tebow, man, I'm going to miss that guy, mostly for all the action that all those fans gave us. We had a lot of people coming to see Bronco Planet all because they wanted to follow Tim Tebow. I'm going to miss the circus. I, I'm really having a problem with my eyes because I, I, I just don't see myself answering that question.